Greetings everyone. Today we are going to dive in into a very interesting topic which is project chaos and control. This session is going to be very important for businesses, freelancers, startups and even students as we will explore the world of project management tools. Now let's be honest, managing project is hard. You have got multiple tasks, deadlines, clients chasing you and team members working in different time zones. Without a system in place, it feels like juggling knives while riding a bicycle. That's why project management tools exist. They are not just software, they are productivity lifesavers. They help you track tasks, assign responsibilities, visual, visualize progress and most importantly make sure nothing slips through cracks. But here is the challenge. There are hundreds of tools out there. If you Google best project management software, you will be bombarded with endless lists. Some saying Trello is best, others pushing Jira or Monday.com or Asana. It gets confusing really fast. So in this video, I am cutting through the noise and we will explore the top 5 project management tools of 2025. I will cover their key features, pros and cons, and also share real life examples of how teams are using them. By the end, you will know exactly what tools or which tools fits your style of work. And here is a tip. Don't just listen to the features. Try to imagine your own team, your own projects. Would this tool make your life easier or add more complexity? Stick with me till the end because I will also give you my personal recommendation. The one tool I think gives the best balance of features and value. So let's begin. The first one is Trello. Trello is often the first and first tool people try when they step into project management. Why? because of extremely simple and visual. Trello is built on something called the Kanban method. Imagine a whiteboard with sticky notes. Each note represents a task. You move notes from one column to another as the task progress, like to do, in progress, and done. So there are three stages. Let me reiterate, it starts from to do, then in progress, then in done. So your task list, first task list will come under to do part. Once you show some progress, you can move it from to do to in progress and then from in progress, when the task is completed, you move it to done. As you can also see in the, uh, in the slide, there is a screenshot of the tool showing the three stages. Trello digitize this concept and it became a hit. So let's talk about its features. You create boards, lists, and carts in Trello. Each cart can have checklists, attachments, deadlines, and comments. There is also an automation feature called Butler, which saves you time by automatic repetitive actions. Now, Let's discuss about their pros and cons. So first discuss pros. Super simple. This tool is very simple to comprehend. Anyone can learn it in minutes. Second is free plan is strong enough for small teams. So they are also offering a free plan. You can explore that. Third is very visual, making it fun to use. And now let's talk about the cons. It lacks depth. If you are running big complex projects, you will hit limitations very quickly. Reporting and analytics are basic. So the best use case for, for Trello would be, it shines with small teams, freelancers, creative projects and personal use. For example, a YouTube content creator could have a board with columns like idea bank, 
scripting, recording, and editing. So they can have four columns. So they can move the task from one to next, then to third, and then to final one. Editing. Each video is a card that moves across the board as it progresses. So if you are just starting, Trello is like your friendly gateway in the world of project management. Now let's talk about the second tool, which is Asana. Okay. If Trello is a simple whiteboard, Asana is a full project management hub. Asana goes beyond just boards. It gives you multiple views, list views, calendar view, board view, and timeline view. This flexibility makes it suitable for teams that need structure. Let's talk about the features. Task management with dependencies. One, one task can't start until another is finished. Second is timeline view of for Gantt style tracking. Third is workload view for prevent to prevent overloading team members. Hundreds of integration with tools like Slack, Google Drive, and Zoom. That's a very, very important feature of Asana. You can integrate Asana with Slack, Google Drive, and Zoom. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Asana. Pros. Highly customizable. You can customize this tool as per your business or organization needs. Second. Excellent for managing multi-step projects. Third, great for collaboration across teams. So it support collaboration across teams. Now let's talk about the cons. Can feel overwhelming for beginners. Premium plans are expensive for large teams. So premium plans are really expensive where you have large team. But for beginners, it, is, it feels overwhelming. So these are two cons. So best use case for Asana. Please listen carefully. Asana is ideal for mid-sized teams and fast-growing startups. Imagine a marketing agency working on multiple client campaigns. Each campaign has dozens of deliverables, dependencies, and deadlines. With Asana, the manager can see everything at a glance. Who is working on what, what's blocked, and what's running late. So, if your projects are getting more complex and Trello feels too basic, then Asana is the strong next step. So, you can prefer Asana over Trello. Now, let's explore more tools. The next one in the line is Jira. It's a very famous tool across industries, basically where we have IT projects and very good for agile. Okay. As I said now, if you are in a software development or IT, you have probably already heard of Jira. This tool is practically a legend in the software world. Jira was designed for agile and scrum teams. That means it's built for iterative development, sprint planning, and continuous improvement. It's If I talk about the features of Jira, it has a lot of features. First, scrum boards and Kanban boards. Good, very good for projects based on agile. Second, Sprint planning is very easy here and backlog management. Two, advanced bug and issue tracking, reports like velocity charts, burn down charts, and release tracking. Integrations seamless, seamlessly with developer tools like GitHub and Bitbucket. So these tools are used for DevOps. So that's an additional advantage with Jira. Now let's talk about the pros. First, extremely powerful for agile workflows. Highly customizable workflows. Perfect for development and product management teams. And uh, if I talk about the cons, it has steep learning curve. 
because this tool is huge. So you, your team or uh, project need to in, invest a lot of effort in understanding Jira. So it leads a lot of trainings and practice. Second con, non-technical teams may find it too complicated. So that's the truth. Best use case for Jira, software companies. Imagine a startup building a mobile app. The dev team uses Jira to track bugs, plan sprints, and prioritize features. Product managers get visibility and developers stay aligned. So, if you are in technology, Jira is almost unavoidable. So, uh, in a nutshell, if you are in IT industry, you are working on IT project, you are doing agile, so Jira is the must go tool for you. But if you are not, it may feel like using a spaceship to drive to the grocery store. So, that's also a truth. So that's all about Jira. Uh, let's move to another one, which is Monday.com. Okay, so next is Monday.com. This tool is famous for its colorful, user-friendly interface. Monday.com markets is itself as a work operating system, not just a project tool. So let me reiterate, monday.com market itself as a work operating system, not just a project tool. Features, it is highly visual, it has highly visual dashboards. Customizable workflows. And automations for repetitive tasks. Templates for HR, sales, marketing, IT and more time tracking and workload management. Pros, very flexible, works for many industries. Easy to use and visually engaging. Great for large organizations managing multiple departments. Cons, expensive, and uh, especially for advanced features. Some users say too many features can become distracting. So again, steep learning curve is required. It's complex. So the best use case for uh, this tool would be, monday.com is excellent for medium to large organization. HR teams, for example, HR teams use it to track recruitment. Each candidate is a card moving through stages. Stages are applied, then interview, then offer, then hired. So they use monday.com for this recruitment process. So if you want something that looks good, feels modern and can scale with your organization, monday.com is a solid option. So this is about the monday.com. Uh, the last one is ClickUp. Okay, now we come to ClickUp, which positions itself as the tool that can replace all others. So now you need to be very careful uh, while I'm talking about the features of ClickUp and pros and cons too because this is a very good tool. Uh, fifth in the line, but this tool can replace all the tools which I just talked about in previous slide. So let's talk about ClickUp now. Clip, ClickUp is like a Swiss army knife. It combines project management, documentation, chat, goals, and dashboard all in one. Features, task management with multiple views, built-in docs and wikis, goal tracking and OKRs, dashboard with widgets, then you have mind maps, 
whiteboards, so many features. All the features which we uh, talked about in the other four tools, it has all the features. It's, it is very feature rich. So if I talk about the prospect, it is extremely feature rich, affordable pricing compared to competitors. It is great for remote and hybrid teams. If I talk about the cons, uh, there are two cons. One is can feel cluttered and overwhelming, overwhelming at first. Too many options can slow adoption. So there are too many options. It can slow the adoption part, which one to adopt, which one not to adopt. Again, it is required a good amount of training. So that's only the con part of it. But if I talk, if you see the pros, they are anyways above all the cons. So they are outperforming cons part. And features we talked about, very feature rich, all in one platform. So the best use case for this one, ClickUp is perfect for startups and entrepreneurs and remote teams who want everything in one place. For example, a startup founder could manage product development tasks, track investor deliverables, strong meeting notes, and even chat with the team, all without leaving ClickUp. So if you don't want to juggle multiple tools, ClickUp might be the one-stop solution you have been looking for. So this is all about the five top five project management tools. Now let's see the final verdict and ultimate toolkit. So what we talked about in this video, we talked about the first tool, Trello. So Trello is best for beginners and small creative teams. Asana, best for growing teams and cross-functional projects. Jira, best for software and IT development. Monday.com, best for, best for large organizations with multiple departments. ClickUp, best all-in-one tool for startups and remote teams. Now, here is my recommendation. If you are unsure whether where to start and you want maximum value for money, I suggest ClickUp. It combines the simplicity of Trello, the structure of Asana, and even some advanced features like Jira but all under one roof. Plus, it's more affordable. That said, the right tool really depends on your team size, industry, and workflow. This is very important statement, guys. Please note that. The right tool really depends on your team size, industry, and workflow. Don't just follow trends. Test these tools. Most of them offer free trials. Experiment with your teams and see what feels right. Remember, a project tool is only as good as the team using it. It won't magically fix poor communication or lack of planning. But if used right, it can boost productivity, reduce stress, and help you deliver projects on time. So which tool do you use? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear your experiences. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep drives into business tools and productivity hacks. So this is all about the video. See you all in the next video. Please take good care of yourself and keep watching Knowledge Mantra. So thank you guys.